considered one of the biggest digital photo frames that I've ever seen. Just look at this thing. It's bigger than most laptops, to tell you the truth. And if you're wondering what this is, it's the Nixplay Smart Photo Frame. It's David here from Real Hard Reviews, and full disclosure here, Nixplay sent me this unit to review, but with all my videos, my objectivity of the review does not get affected because it was sent to me. Also, Nixplay does not get to see the review before I post it. So dedicated digital photo frames have been battling with smart displays like the Google Home Hub and the Echo Show. So why buy a screen that only shows photos when you could also buy one that does a whole lot more? Well, the Nixplay smart photo frame can be read as an answer to that question. Sure, it doesn't have you know a built-in voice assistant like Siri or Alexa, and you can't use it to adjust your thermostat, but it'll connect to the cloud to display place photos, and it'll make those photos look great. And it'll do it while you know being relatively easy to do. The Nixplay M really stands out, mainly because it's literally the biggest photo display that I have ever seen. It's a 15.6 inch photo frame with a 16 by 9 aspect ratio that also displays at a 1920 by 1080p resolution. With an ISP panel that is almost 350 nits bright and the best part is that it actually looks like a regular photo frame. The viewing angles on the Nixplay are great and I found it to provide a sharp color and high contrast. There are four sizes available with a 9.7 inch, a 10.1, a 13.3, and a 15.6 display that we see right here. Though the largest sizes only come in black, which is pretty, eh, not bad, I guess. Now looking at the back, we got the power cable, which also doubles as a stand, and it can be removed entirely, revealing a wall mounting setup with embedded hooks. If you don't want to display the frame on the tabletop, Wall mounting is made as easy as possible with this setup. The Nixplay comes with a remote control that you can utilize to you know, change the picture or access the settings menu on the Nixplay. Thankfully, they also included a magnet on the back of this remote so you can keep the remote control on the back of the actual unit. It's just you know for safekeeping. The remote is hidden from view when not in use and you can always know where it is wherever you need it. And it's great for grandma and grandpa who might, you know, lose this remote. It's always in the back of the display unit. Setting up the Nixplay frame includes creating an account and pairing your frame to it and adding photos or videos. Using the mobile app, you can manually add photos or connect your, you know, account to Google Photos if you need be, or Facebook for that matter, or Instagram, or Flickr, Dropbox, the sky's the limit. And, you know, you can use them to populate the playlist, which you can put pictures for. Major cons that I have with the device is that it does not offer a way to add media with a physical SD card or USB stick. You're essentially stuck with Nixplay's cloud services, which means that, you know, one day this photo display could become a paperweight if the cloud services stop working altogether. Which leads me to another con of the device, which is the storage amount you get on the cloud, which is only around 10 gigabytes. And when you consider photos and videos fill up a device pretty quickly, then that's pretty small for what you might be able to do with it. And if you don't like the size and the storage that you get with the 10 gigs, you'll have to pay a subscription fee to Nextplay to increase it up to 50 or larger, depending on which plan you choose. Also, the price of the unit has a lot to be desired. The 15.6 inch display costs around $320. These days, you can buy a 36 inch TV for the price of the Nixplay is charging for this model. Presumably, this price helps support their cloud storage, but it's still a hefty price to swallow. I also noticed that the pictures can take some time to upload on the device. So make sure you have a proper internet and fast connection, which, you know, older relatives that you might give this to might not have that. So just be wary about that. So this basically concludes my review of the Nix Play and Smart Photo Display. Please remember to smash that like button for the good old YouTube algorithm. And also remember to subscribe and comment on the latest reviews. And also hit the notification bell to be alerted of the latest videos. And if you haven't already, then please join us on the RHR Discord channel where we talk about the latest trends in tech. So thanks for watching the video. This is David from Real Hard Reviews signing out.